Hello, everybody. Happy March 10th or Mario Day, M A R 1 0. Oh, okay. welcome to the Lore Boys. Lore Boys here. It, this episode's about March. It's about March 10th. This is the time of recording. Um, Mario would say something like, Hoo! or yippee, or something like that if hey, he was here. Hey, Luigi, why don't we go get some pasta, some <laughs> couple of pizza pies? I love the spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the worst Mario game ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. My name's James, and I'm joined here with Peter. And I'm joined here with. It's James. Oh yeah, just 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 me. Ethan's uh, Ethan's not here. Yeah, Ethan is off. Uh, we just can't get all three lore boys in a room, uh, th- like in the last two weeks. Well, but... you had a good reason. It, <laughs> so I was joking about this when I was leaving. I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, "Yeah, so university sometimes still feels like it needs to treat people who are almost thirty like children." Yeah. So he has a fucking group project to do because <laughs> he's fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the poor guy. Yeah. Not only that, he's working on like a pretty demanding project right yeah. now at work. So he's been there like at minimum eight hours a day all yeah. week and like including his weekend. Plus he's in school almost full time. Which is brutal. Yeah. yeah. The fact that we bring a show to you filthy animals every week yeah. is, is a is a maker. Um, my my busy week starts next week. We just got a new guy who yeah. I need to train. So Okay. I've been playing enough video games for all of us, so don't yeah, worry. Yeah, hey, I'm I'm back in a warframe. It took it took me <laughs> so fucking long, but I finally got my space kitty. Nice. And she gives me passive buffs. So wow. she's actually super good. Yeah. Same thing, uh car driving through a sandstorm. Passive buff. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Jesus Christ. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Have you uh, ever seen um It's a Mad 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 World? Um is that See, it's the OG Donnie Darko? No, it's the OG <laughs> It's the OG rat race where like some guy rents a car and uh it just gets like blasted by a sandstorm and it and it strips all the paint off. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen that. It's uh it's that one where the it's the same plot as Rat Race. Like, this guy hides... Well, similar. This guy hides, steals a bunch of money, and hides it under a big W. Okay. It's, like, four palm trees that look like a W, and he hid a bunch of money below it. Okay. And then all these people, like, go and, and, and try and find it. And now all these kids today are just looking for the Fortnite Ws. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. So, I am last week, by the way, just a quick note on it. It was amazing. There's, like, 10,000 people in a stadium just all cheering for csgo i've been watching this thing since 2014 and then you got to go in person yeah my boss calls me the day before being like hey can you be in poland like tomorrow uh you get to go to this thing yeah yeah i'll pack my bags it's so fucking crazy that's like how both our business trips work yeah like oh i mean you had that one where you were gone for quite some time but then also like remember when i went to missouri yeah i left eight hours after i found out i was going it's crazy (laughs) dude yeah i packed a bag went to sleep was there the next day yeah it's crazy yeah it was it keywords our company ethan and i work for just give them good pr like they paid my whole way there they gave me a pass to iem there's like a thousand slavic people waiting for the csgo tournament outside and yeah. i just got to waltz right past the line go in and all of them just squatting in a line very or <laughs> very or- very orderly <laughs> yeah that's it i didn't have a safe seat but i was there like three hours early for the finals but if anyone wants to watch them follow ensa E-N-C-E, in the quarter and semifinals, both of those series are, like, amazing. The 16-year-old kid comes out of nowhere and beats these, so, like, these teams that are so well-defined at this point. That, really? Yeah. Go check it out. If you like CSGO, those two series were so, so exciting. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I am. Jamie got to go. Yeah. I, I stayed here and worked. Yeah, it was, it was a ton of fun. Oh, I'm still shopping for a tablet, by the way. If anybody's curious about the art, I'm still shopping for a tablet. It's about 800 bucks, so I want to make a... I, I need to uh, test some things before yep. I make a, make a call, but yeah. I did get an aquarium, though, so that's... Yeah, that's it. He's getting uh, things all My week. Yeah. Excuse me. So, uh, speaking of uh, small ecosystems, we're going to be talking about Hollow Nest in the world of Hollow Knight. Today. Kablam! Yep. Boom! Yep, we got it. So, um, Hollow Knight, if anyone hasn't played it... It's a extremely charming game that came out in 2017. It's a Metro uh, Metroidvania. Game. Yeah, it's an indie game uh, made by Team Cherry, and they're three dudes who made this game that is so well polished. You may have seen it. I streamed it a long time ago on twitch.tv slash the lore boys. Yep. Um, I've had the problem where my brain uh, ricochets off of the gameplay. Yep. I'm very bad at it, and I've tried to get good, and I just can't i've played about 15 hours of the game and it's still in my backlog i look at it every time i'm playing on steam i'm just like it's there i'll 
totally like Jamie told me that there was a badge that you could or an upgrade you could get that yeah. that solves my main problem. Yeah, so it's a badge. I might just make a beeline for that. Yeah, it's the one of the cheapest versions. Uh, like the badge is very easy to get, and you don't get knocked back when you attack, which was the main thing that Peter. Did yeah, because you can hit. You can get two hits in, and then your third hit is out of range. Every attack. Yeah. Without the without the badge, and That's that right. that would drive me fucking crazy. Yeah. And touching enemies hurts you. So it, when you readjust, if you readjust too much, you would just get hurt. And yeah. there was something in my brain that was just not okay with that. So I just <laughs> couldn't. I couldn't learn. Uh, it's a game that I'm really loving. Like I've, like Peter, I've had a lot of trouble with it at certain points. But yeah. like, if you just really focus on it and just try and get good you, you will eventually like yeah there's a couple of clips up on twitch.tv slash the lore boys i think i beat the mantis lords the dung defender and the broken vessel on stream so far but oh broken vessel is the ghost one with all the orange shit on it right yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it looks like basically kind of looks like you but a broken skull with like orange stuff coming. yeah out, with right? goo yeah. anyways uh for those who don't know what hollow knight is uh it tells the story of a knight on a quest, uh, you're not the Hollow Knight, you're just a knight. The game is called Hollow Knight. And uh, you're uncovering long abandoned secrets in the insect kingdom of Hollonists. So you're going deeper and deeper into a burrow uh, with insects as the NPCs, and everyone's an insect. Your enemies yeah. and your NPCs, except for some random jellyfish. I don't know how they got in there, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Video game bad guys. Yeah, exactly. I, maybe it's a throwback to Metroid because jellyfish are. Oh, in yeah. There. So, Metroids look like jellyfish. Yeah, yeah. They, they really do. Um, yeah, so like exploring the kingdom, it's a massive, massive world. And like a lot of Metroidvanias, it, there's a lot of vertical yeah. um, to the maps. So it is a side-scroller, but you're also going up and down. And you go very, very deep into this thing. And it feels like an ant colony almost, that there's different sections for different things. And you go very deep. So yeah, when you start the game, uh, you're given like very little information or guidance on where you ha you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Do you remember that? Like what was your first experience with the game? Yeah. Well, I, I, I went in and I'm, I know you jumped down the well in, yeah. in Dirtmouth, which is like the surface town. Yeah. And you jump into the well and then you go left and right and you fight some bad guys. Like yeah. that was fine. Like I got as far as the, like the, 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 the mushroom swamp sort okay. of thing with the the bouncy purple things on it yep the fungal like, uh waste I yeah exactly like i got there um and then after a while i beat like three or four bosses but yeah. i there i got to a certain point where i just like couldn't get through a particular room yeah, yeah. and i was just like i just don't i don't get it mm. I, I don't understand i don't understand yeah. why i'm bad and i kept making the same mistakes over and over and over and over yeah. again so i was just like i'm not gonna like, I love the way it looks and sounds, and yeah. I just hated the way it plays. So Can that's... you describe the art style? You'd probably do a better job than I would. Oh, yeah. Um, it's it's very basic, and it's pretty monochrome. Like, like your character is, is gray, black, and white. Mm -hmm. So he has, like, this big, cute, like... Uh, everybody looks like a bug pointing upwards. So, like, you have little horns that would normally be, like, the forward-facing pincers of a beetle. So everybody looks like a beetle stood up on its point. <laughs> yeah. And then they well, just get little arms and legs and yep. scuttle around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cartoony. It's very simple. It's, it will, I mean, the characters are simple. The environments are, are gorgeous. They, yeah. they look, you know, like a kind of, kind of hand-drawn. It's not pixel art or yeah. anything like that. It's all, like, hand-drawn sprites. Yeah, I love it. I, I love the way it looks. I love yeah. the way it sounds. It's playing it for me has just always been a challenge, mm -hmm. but... It's it's there. It's haunting my bat backlog. Yeah. It's the, the specter of failure just following me around. <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of talking about it earlier too. That it's um, like a really cute looking atmosphere, or like cute looking characters, but also such like a deadly world that can kill you. Yeah, and a very like, it's it's a it's a weird combination of super cute looking characters, like yeah. big eyes and no mouth, and yeah. just like everybody just kind of scuttles around and they're super cute. And yeah. they, they all talk in, like Sims, basically. Oh, it's true, yeah. Yeah, they all talk, there's like, Rad's Merge Rack! And you're like, <laughs> yeah. yay! So cute! But also, the, like, from what I've gathered thus far is this kingdom was overtaken by some kind of curse or yeah. fungus or whatever. Yeah. And, it, like, you're killing these hollowed out and or mind-controlled husks mm -hmm. of people. Yeah, there's this whole, like, thing, too, where I think that the world originally was the cell of Hollow Nest is that you gain your mind. By okay. getting there, and I think that's what hive mind is. Like uh, an insect on its own doesn't have a purpose, but when it joins a colony, yeah, it has a purpose. And then there's this kind of overlooming thing that was attacking the hive mind or changing the minds or making 
ants and things go it's crazy. It's orange shit, right? Orange shit. Which is just radiance, which I really want to talk about uh, the next episode. Which yeah. It's a really cool story arc, but uh, I'll help you guys. Uh, Jamie's pro- real invested. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. probably a two-parter. Um, I want to talk about like the people who made the game today and then also uh, kind of build the world. And then the ne- once the world is built and you kind of feel the trajectory of the thing, yeah. then actually tell you the story from what we can pull from it. Because a lot of it is so vague and just in hidden lore lines, you have to really like read between the lines. And, yeah. Um, it's not super clear, but it's fun that you can all have your own conjecture or your own like idea of what Hollow Knight is. Is this, is yeah. this the first time in history where Lore Boy's canon is perfectly valid and, yeah. and not complete bullshit? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Hell dude. yeah, dude. Yeah. We fucking made it. <laughs> Took us 80 episodes, but finally. <laughs> just had to find something that didn't... It was vague enough to give the illusion of depth. Fill in a fu- yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Fill in a bunch of fucking blanks. Yeah, yeah. we should have just called like uh, one of those like 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 rent rent a psychics. It gives you a bunch of vague advice. <laughs> yeah. <that's it. laughs> oh man. Yeah. Like those psychics are so fun. I remember going to one at a fair and they're like, "You will love and lose." Like, cool. okay. I'm fucking fourteen, dude. Yeah. Of you, course you, oh, I'm you you dude. actually went to like a yeah. like you to, to like a side like a a freak show seer. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, there's a seer in the game in Hollow Knight as well. Actually. Oh, cool. Um, your nail, uh, you can, you have a sword. It looks like a sword, but you're a bug, so it's a nail. And so you fight with a nail. That and- kind of means humans exist or existed above, right? It's possible, yeah. Because I know one of the bosses uh, has a sewing needle that she uses like a grappling hook yeah. with thread on it, that's and you use hornet. a nail. Yeah, that's the hornet. Which, uh, if you guys are fans of Hollow Knight, you probably know that just a few weeks ago. Uh, the trailer for Silk Song is coming out, which is uh, was originally supposed to be a DLC for Hollow Knight, but now it's going to be its own fully fledged game. It because, got too big for its britches. Yeah, yeah, they kept building it. They're like making so many. It, there's this basically bug bay who comes and fights you every few bosses. Oh yeah, kind of thing. bug waifu. Yeah, bug waifu. Um, her name's Hornet, and she fights you the night, saying like you're not ready for this yet, kind of thing. Yeah. And you just get keep kind of getting knocked down by her. But as soon as you beat her, you will get, uh, I think the first thing she gives you is the dash. Yes. Which helps you move the around. The moth cloak. Her. Exactly, yeah. I have the beginning of the game memorized very well because <laughs> I have failed at it so many times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked this game up at the same time I was playing Dark Souls 3. And it felt less punishing than Dark Souls 3 to me. So I think that's why fine? I've been gravita- gravitating yeah. towards it, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just depending on the the way things control. Like, Dark Souls, for me, I feel the controller is attached completely to the character. Uh-huh. Uh, whereas in Hollow Knight, there's, you know, yeah. knockback. And when you get hit, you get knocked way the fuck back. Yeah. It's that sort of thing. Like, I feel like the controller, for me, kind of disappears once in a while. Okay. And I don't like that. Okay. Um, but uh, full credit to Team Cherry, the people who made yeah. it, who are clearly video game development gods yeah yeah without a doubt three people made this game and i encourage all of you to go look even yeah. just at like a playthrough of it or if, if you're looking at one section specifically look up um hollow knight the hive and you go to this bee area and everything's so glowing and oh gold. bees yeah. yeah everything in that game every section is distinctly hollow knight in its art style but also distinct in its own area like the color palettes are all different in each area yeah and you always know where you are, but you also there's this unifying art style. To there's everybody. pretty that's pretty old school. Yeah, you know, fire world, ice world, grass world. Yeah. boss sort of thing. Except this time it's mushroom world, bee world, uh, crystal world. Not bee world, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the worst vacation ever. Yeah, we went to bee world. <laughs> no. Yeah, that'd be a good theme park. Yeah, what would you do there? Though you'd like lick honey on a stick. You'd yeah uh, get stung to death. Yep, yeah, stung to death. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, roller coaster would just be covered in bees. Yeah, yeah. You'd pro- <laughs> oh, you you you'd get like instead of getting face paint, you'd uh. get like a bee beard. <laughs> 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 you go to the Dominican Republic, you get your cornrows. You go to Bee World, you get a bee beard. Yeah, like, exactly. You go home with it, like on the airplane on the way home. <laughs> yeah, just like covered in bees. <laughs> Yes, yeah. yes, that's exactly it. Oh, that's yeah, really cool. that, that's your shitty tourist thing that you have to take <laughs> home and deal with when you get back. Is your bee beard? 
Oh, wow. all, the, all the bees die of old age after four days. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just end up in bed surrounded by dead bees. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot of the worlds in Hollow Knight uh, would look like that. There's so many worlds that it's just covered in carcasses. I was going to say that some of them are just, like, stacked with corpses. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in the... They did this really cool thing with the art style where they have, like, um, like a foreground, then the mid-ground that you're kind of actually playing on, and then the background. I think that's called parallax scrolling. When okay. You, when, like, when you do that. I could be completely wrong. Tweet at me if okay. I am completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think it... But I think it's called parallax. Okay. Yeah. It makes it, like, a 2D world feel... Like, really deep. Yeah. Really, really deep. Like and the Deep Nest? Yeah. Hey. Deep Nest is, is a world that it, uh, that I unlocked yesterday, actually, in uh, Hollow Nest. So, it, like we said, it has a unique hand-drawn style. Yeah. And you're given very little information. You walk around. One of the first things you get is Dash and your Fireball. There's different spells you have. Uh, you're left to your own devices. Um, eventually, like, you'll find things... It's, it's a Metroidvania, so you'll find things like... Um, a, ma- a piece of a mask to give you like a piece of a health yeah like it's a, it's a piece of heart from zelda essentially yeah um or you'll get things for your soul which is like your mana the whole game is incredibly derivative but it's really 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 well executed yeah yeah, yeah it's so polished and the music as well like i was listening to the ost while writing and it is beautiful to me yeah it, it is, it's amazing uh, one of the early power ups, uh, the night errands is like the dash move or the wall jump, and like as you play the game, it goes from you just being able to walk around and have a single jump to you being able to like jump off walls, double jump, dash across, do this like crazy crystal like super sand flying down victory yeah. road thing. Like yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so you learn a lot about who you are and like why you are in the world, which I want to talk about next week sorry but yeah, but yeah. Um, tune in next week for actual content <laughs> yeah. um but the the world it's a lot like dark souls in the way that it doesn't feed you the lore like you are ash this is your pokemon you need to beat the elite four you don't know what you're doing off the beat weirdly enough dark so- dark souls and hollow knight and uh i guess because I, I mentioned earlier to some extent warframe like they all start out and you're not you're the protagonist because you're central to the story, but you're not really like yeah. the hero. You you exist, and all these things have already happened, and things yeah. occur around you yeah. that you can get kind of sucked into. Yeah, in in Hollow Knight, you start off uh, like in Hollow Knight, you start off as something that is like very unspecial. Actually, yeah, you're like a failed vessel, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say the Hornet calls you the vessel or the yeah. broken vessel or something. Exactly, yeah. you are uh, basically a failed experiment from the Pale Knight. And then you become more special as you go on. Yeah. 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 Or the Pale King, rather. Sorry. And um, from there, you just delve deeper and deeper to piece together the lore. A lot of it is like item distri- descriptions. Classic. Or you get something later on called the Dream Nail. Oh, it's where you can read people's minds? Exactly. Yeah, yeah the Dream Nail is uh, you, it's used. You go to a seer, and she grants it to you. And on PlayStation, you hold triangle to strike it, and it charges up. And you can either enter people's dreams, or you can read their mind, or you can have an interaction with them that is, like, of the mind. Yeah. It's just, like, a physical thing that brings out the non-physical, basically. Cool. Uh, If you beat a boss, you use the dream nail on their corpse when you're done, and you get to fight an altered version of them. Oh, that's how that works. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. So you you have to, like, kill a boss and then basically steal the mind... Or steal a soul out of their corpse, and then you can fight them again. Yeah, it, it, that's cool. it. Like, so they kind of live forever in in that, like, their spirit. Yeah. But then you go in and kill their fucking spirit, too. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Am I the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, in Hollow Knight, it feels like there isn't a good and bad guy, because you're kind of of the void, which is technically, like, a usually a bad thing in most video game tropes. Yeah. But in this world, it's considered a good thing and you're fighting the radiance which we'll talk about more next week yeah, but yeah which yeah. is considered light so you're fighting the light but the light is also bad destructive and, or whatever yeah, yeah. It, it feels... it's the magnifying glass through the sun that's <laughs> frying all the ants sort of thing exactly <clears throat> oh no the radiance yes. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> uh, from the perspective of a from an end. They, uh, I find they do perspective really well in that game too. Like, uh, there's a city called the City of Tears. Yeah, and it's constantly raining in this city, and it has really beautiful, like, tinkly music. But 
really uh it's just an underground city that was built under an underground lake so oh okay the lake is just like dripping in all the time yeah like, perpetually but i guess with rainfall you would kind of have a perpetual lake underwater if there's consistent rainfall above yeah but yeah i don't know i'm not gonna try i'm not that. a geologist yeah, i'm not <laughs> a geologist geo is the uh currency, the currency. The yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that's true so in the game i guess i am a geologist no you wouldn't call yourself a no a moneyologist if you go to earn money when you go to work no <laughs> you don't do. economist i'm an economist I earn yeah money. exactly i'm yeah. a geologist i studied geo <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm playing through the game right now, um, which is part of the reason why I want to make it a two-parter, because I do want to delve into the Radiance and the Pale King, all this stuff. I haven't actually met them yet, and I will have met them by next week, so I want to have a full understanding. Yeah, we're that's alright. Yeah. We do this for us as much as we do it for you, the listener. <laughs> I think that's what gives it like a, a lot of like the love that goes into it, is because we enjoy doing it so much, right? Uh, so let's start with Team Cherry. Sure. Um, get to know them a little bit. Do you, do you know anything about Team Cherry so far? Uh, nothing. You've nothing? Set, you've 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 laid claim to the fact that it's okay. three people. Three guys, yeah. Yeah, it's three guys, and I'm like, all right, oh. tell me more. Yeah, it's insane. So they started off. Um, they're from Adelaide. Uh, do you know what country Adelaide is from? In Australia. Yeah. Ah, God damn it! <laughs> I just can't get away from it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our friends in Australia may know them uh, better than we do. Yeah, I mean it's a small little island. You guys might know them personally. <laughs> I'd assume you would. He's probably you barbarians. One of, probably one of your mates or whatever. Yeah, you call exactly. Yeah. Or one of your cousins. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're from Adelaide, South Australia, and according to their about page on their own website, their mission is to build crazy, exciting worlds to explore and conquer. So far, so good. Yep. Um, they yeah. So I mentioned there's only three fucking people who do this, which is I can't believe that it has enough charm and polish to be like a triple A title. Yeah, like, and the music's amazing, the art's amazing. Like to me, there should be someone doing the music alone. There should be someone doing the art alone. There should be someone doing like the dialogue alone at this point. And yeah, like, all already we're out of people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> who made the who did the coding? Damn it! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um. Uh, it's insane. Uh, the three guys who made it, I'll call them out, is Ari Gibson, William Pellion, and Jack Vine. Good uh, names. Yeah. In terms of what they actually contributed to, I know Jack Vine had the heaviest uh, coding influence, and the other two, I wasn't able to get a straight answer from their website on what they actually do. It was okay. like co-designer was what they said. Oh, okay. Probably a little bit of everything. Yeah. But, I mean, when you're three people, you're basically like a video game mercenary. You just have to do yeah. whatever the fuck you need. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm, there was like bios about them. Like they were on their nest. They were already modding games and stuff like from the first games they got before there was like... And the Hollow Knight precursor you had sent me, I didn't actually watch it, but uh -huh. they, they have a Flash version of Hollow Knight uh, or to some extent. So yeah. Yeah. That's like, uh, exactly the next point. So the Hungry Knight game was the first game that they built together. Okay. And the Hungry Knight game was built at a game jam. You know what game jams are? Yeah. So yeah, you... it's like a festival or like not a festival. It's an event. People get together. Yeah. They make a game concept or a small game yeah. super quickly yeah. with like basically one central idea. Exactly. And then, then sometimes people jump off that. Exactly. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened here. So Hungry Night was built at a game jam where the theme was 10 seconds. Okay. And uh, do you have any idea what that would mean for Hungry Night? Eat all the food in a room. Yeah. So you, you die if you don't eat in 10 seconds you okay. have a 10 second constant like jar that's unfilling oh okay. and you have to eat to replenish the jar okay and uh yeah so you start off and you are in front of an altar and there's a dead body on top of it just the bones left and this is where the game starts and it says hungry night and the sprite is like a carbon copy hollow night like it looks, oh, it looks it, exactly like him exactly like no differences Cute. it's just less frames when it moves oh, okay yeah, yeah. And, like, the same cloak, the same nail, the same everything. And um, the goal is to walk around this small island, and there's small enemies that have, like, orange goop on their back. And oh, yeah. You hit the guy, you eat the goop, you fill your meter. Okay. Yeah. And you do that, and you walk around, and it's not very big. And there's three guys with masks, and they're pretty big. And you have two moves. You can either hit with your nail, or you can dash. Okay. And it's a lot like in Hollow Knight. You can dash or hit there's a lot more things but yeah it, it was rudimentary it's a real game now not yeah. not just a concept that somebody made yeah <laughs> exactly exactly and um so yeah you after you beat the three guys you collect their three masks you bring them back to the altar you started with all the meanwhile killing 
at least one thing per 10 seconds or else you die. Yeah. Then the three masks will line up and your little bone dude that was dead will come back to life through a ritual and you walk off into the sunset like holding the hand of the bone dude. It might be a lover. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... I killed and ate so many people for you, my love. Yeah, exactly. Wow, I'd rather be dead. (laughs) What a neck romantic ending, right? Hey! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, it's it, it was like a cute game. I played it on Flash today, and oh yeah, it's still available. Yeah, so laggy though. Like you go to the big night, dude, and you go to hit him. I don't know if this is a new grounds problem or a game problem, but anytime you dash, it goes down to like three frames per second. Ouch! And yeah, I, coming from Hollow Knight, which I love, I couldn't play that game at all. No, I, it it was just the proof of concept, I guess. It was the idea, and it's so different in what you're actually. They only had so much time to make it. Like a game mm-hmm. jam is, from what I understand, a very short amount of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I was going through the comment section. There was a bunch of like sweaty nerds being like, "All right, so I get this from a game jam, but it would be unfair not to criticize this like any other game." And then like huge paragraph Jesus, of what's dude. wrong with the game. Yeah. And then meanwhile, like yeah. these three... fucking sorry, I only had eight hours. Really, <laughs> yeah, shit. Exactly. But um, it was that character, that that aesthetic, that made them create Hollow Knight later. Yeah, it resonated with some people and them. It must have been. I mean, it's super cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then after that, they made one more game uh, at a game jam, and it was called Tomb Cat. Okay. The themes for this game, uh, game jam, it was greed and mummy, as in like greedy mummies. Ooh, really? oh, yeah, yeah. What, what does a mummy sound like? Uh, oh, yeah, it's more of a grunty. Um, it's, yeah. Le- it's it's yeah, it's more of a moan, less of a, a less of a boo, because <laughs> they're like Egyptian zombies. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, can you guess the where they this game was set? It was it in Egypt. Yeah, that's okay. good. Because I know there was there's other civilizations throughout history who have also mummified their dead. Mayans. But, yeah. Um. I mean, I, I I say yeah confidently. It probably I, that that's the one I was thinking. I could yeah. be, I could be wrong. I'm not an anthropologist. I'm a geologist, baby. <laughs> um. But yeah, like I figured it would have been an Egyptian thing because those are the famously spooky mummies that yeah. we that we have to fight. Yeah, and that's it. So they. With a short amount of time, they have greed, they have mummy. They're like, okay, let's just make it into a pyramid. Yeah. Because why not? It's, yeah. It fits. And, like, the pharaohs were buried with a ton of treasure. Yeah, exactly. And then that, that, that's so uh, that's what they did. Um, to double down on the mummy thing, they also made the main character a mother. Oh. Yeah, and it's a cat. You're playing okay. tomb cat. And the whole thing is you're set. You go through um, a pyramid, and you get a single screen, and there's a bunch of gold coins everywhere with enemies walking around that you can hit and they'll only temporarily die and you try and collect oh, cool. all the coins within a certain amount of time to get to the next room kind cool of thing. yeah uh, it's pretty classic video game stuff um i think what lends to hollow knight from that game is there are enemies like have like insectoid wings and the art style is really similar so probably where you got started on that and also wall jumping so some of the movements oh really are, yeah the, the cat can jump off walls yep cool and the 2d the way that it looks in as in like playing on a 2d plane uh, is very similar to Hollow Knight, much more than Hungry Knight, which okay. kind of felt a little more isometric. To okay, me. but it is two D, but like you're playing the world instead of being flat is just like flat uh, vertically, and you're running on that. Okay, yeah. Instead of jumping from actual platform to platform, you're just on like a rotated island, which is weird. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. But that, I think that's where they kind of got started. Yeah. So those are the two uh, games that Team Cherry got started on. Good. Yeah. And I guess we have. I want to get back to Hollow Knight then. I guess we kind of led the the trajectory into Hollow Knight. We know what they've worked on so far. Yeah. Um, well, we're, we covered the Team Cherry bit. Team Cherry, exactly. So we know who they are. We know what they're into. Um, one of them must be a great artist. I'm not sure which one it is, but... Or there are, or all of them are mediocre artists. And, yeah. they, <laughs> and they collaborate really well. Honestly, I guess what they make is not particularly hard to draw. It's just, like, really consistent. It's unique. Yeah, yeah, it is unique, yeah. Uh, well, so I want to talk about uh, three different energies that are in the game. Okay. Um, so they all have, like, they're all quite important. First one is soul. Yeah. The second one is void. Okay. And the third one is essence. Okay. 
I know soul mm -hmm. you gain by hitting people. You don't have exactly. to kill anybody, yeah. but it does recharge as you hit. Yeah. Make like make contact with another living thing, you drain soul, I yeah. guess, out of them or something. Yeah, it's kind of implied that it's like their life force. Um, yeah, and it transfers into you uh -huh. instead of out. In like, I guess. Yes, because you're a vessel. Yeah, you're a vessel, and that's why you have the ability to take on all these like Metroidvania, like powers. Upgrades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you are a vessel for magic, for, basically. For magic. Okay, cool. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, it's the term used for the white energy extracted from enemies and soul totems. Soul totems are old-ass statues that are there that are from before any of the living creatures in Hollow Nest remember. Oh, okay, cool. So, they kind of were always there. Yep. Those are the, uh, they're like the obelisks that you hit to recharge your mana, basically. Yeah, they're the bug yeah. dicks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> they're like super phallic looking. Like, yeah. If you just look up <laughs> soul totems, Hollow Nest... It's just like a bunch of weird dicks. Yeah. Or bug dicks, lore boys. It's, it's <laughs> same picture. <laughs> they could have in Google. <laughs> that would be the, the weirdest movie. I, which one was the one where the, the bees are coming to like harvest? Like the ant, that's ants, I think. The ants have to collect a bunch of food, and then the bees come and take it. They're like the mafia. Oh, it's, the, uh, it's a bug's life. Oh, is that a bug's life? Yeah, and, oh, okay. and then the, the bad guys are grasshoppers. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but I th okay, so gr Bugs Like Grasshoppers, and then there's a movie Ants with a Z. Yes. And that one, I think the bees are coming to take it. But I don't recall. I don't know if oh, I've seen man. it. I Maybe I've seen it. You like jazz? <laughs> yeah, <it's>, yeah <laughs> Ant that, movie. That, that was it. <laughs> yeah, the bug movie, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they Man. put Kramer in that one instead of <laughs> uh, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Woody Allen was it was an Ants. Okay. With a Z. Yeah. Oh, where did where's the Z in Woody Allen? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woody Allen with a Z. Yeah. <laughs> Zwoody. Zwoody Allen. Zwoody Zwellen. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the soul, it's like it's represented uh, on your HUD by a circular meter. It looks like a white face that kind yeah. of fills up slowly. And when it's filled, you have three heals or three spells. There's basically like three charges in your soul thing yeah. that you can upgrade as you go. Um, so this soul, no, we don't know much about it, except that since it is connected to these soul totems, which are like before time, yeah, that this energy is before time as well. It's like the generic life force mm -hmm. brand stuff basically yep. life force tm 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 yep okay cool that was worshipped by like old beings yeah the ancient bugs exactly the ancient robots like those <laughs> no i was looking for magic rocks or ancient robots and i didn't see any yet. fuck yeah um <laughs> what do you call those really old bugs that you can find at the bottom of the water and they have like these carapaces and like a ton of little legs and it looks like kabuto from pokemon oh it's an isopod isopod yeah, yeah. so if you go down deep enough you can find isopods i don't know why i just know that immediately offhand <laughs> yeah. by the way so, hey pete what's that like the uh, the deep sea bug the big one the the the, the oval one it's, <laughs> it's an isopod yeah. oh yeah thanks man <laughs> then i just go home and die presumably <laughs> yeah exactly i, I serve my purpose <laughs> Have you seen that uh, video of the people who took an isopod to, like, Wendy's or something? And they're, like, they, they just found it, and they're, like, kissing it and taking pictures with it. What the fuck? And it looks like a prehistoric, like... I don't like that. Beast bug? They're gross. I don't yeah. like them at all. They, they fed it a milkshake, I think. Did he like it? I don't know. Can you tell? <laughs> they it in a baby chair. What the <laughs> fuck? Dude. You have to show me that after. I will. Oh my god! I know my dad. I know like a quick aside here. My yeah. in in the Simpsons, Millhouse at one point when they go on vacation loses his glasses. Yep. And a hermit crab or horseshoe crab walks up to him and he pets it and he's like, "Nice doggy." Yeah. And it like flaps its stinger thing. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. my dad has a picture from Boston where he's like squatting on a beach petting a horseshoe crab. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've told that before on the Have cast, I? actually. Maybe, oh, maybe. maybe not, though. My dad's, like a, cra my dad's a crazy person. Right? Yeah. yeah. He's just uh, got rich late in life, so I never got shit. And he's in Thailand now because my sister's boyfriend fell off a cliff and broke a bunch of bones. Really? Yep. Well, he's alive, so we, yeah, can, talk, we can talk about it here. Okay. Alive at, at time of writing. 
it's he's, dark he, as he, fuck, he's had dude. he's had two spinal taps and wow. brain surgery thus far. Turn it up to eleven, right? Snapped his yeah, exactly. Yeah. Snapped his femur at the hip. They had to put titanium rods into him. Snapped his femur at the hip. That's... Yeah, the ball joint. Oh, right there, snapped Holy. off. He fell off a waterfall. You see, if you're a bug like in Hollow Nest. You don't grow them back. Yeah, you grow them back, or stupid Wesley can't grow his fucking legs back. <laughs> <laughs> that was his first mistake. No, their mass is so small that they don't actually get hurt when you drop them. That's true. Yeah, you can drop. I, I don't. I've never tried it, but you could drop an ant off of a very, very high building, and it would be fine when it hit the ground. Probably if it just didn't die of old age first <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you imagine an ant just. Uh... <laughs> It starts off, it's got like a little binky, like 10 Gray hair at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Going through all the stages of life. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the soul, soul, we don't know a lot about it. We know it's old. We know that... Now, the Hollow Knight itself, because you're a mm. knight. The Hollow Knight, is yeah. he a larger vessel? Is that why he is considered hollow? Because he is a vessel for soul and magic? He is a vessel, yeah, there's a lot of vessels. Zote the Mighty is a vessel, presumably? Probably. Okay. It's the... Yeah, so I, I wanted to get this more into this next week, but there's a lot of vessels that the Pale King created to basically combat Radiance. It, so and some of them are failed, some of them are not. I guess this might just be a setup for next week. Yeah. Uh, do all the people who are... All the bugs who are vessels wear a white mask because they are vessels created by the Pale King? Yes. Okay, thank you. There's an area in the game where there's thousands and thousands of f- dead failed ones. Okay. And you basically are going through and seeing all your dead brothers and sisters. So anybody with the white kind of ceramic looking mask is a vessel created by the Pale King at some point. Specifically the one that you have. Like, no, I... D- you, we well, don't... Hornet has a white mask. Is she we, a vessel? We don't know. Okay. We don't Zote? Know. We don't know. Okay. It's, it's possible, but we don't know. The Hollow Knight it, itself, obviously. It's kind of, yeah, the Hollow Knight, which is the end boss, is the vessel that was, quote unquote, successful, okay. and you were a failed one. And the only ones that we're sure of being vessels are the broken vessel that you fight, Yeah. Uh, which is one of the bosses that is like looks like you, but has a cracked skull, Yeah. you, and also the Hollow Knight, which is the end boss, Okay. which we'll get more into next week. This yeah. is going to be probably on the shorter side for an episode so it'll be a it'll be an easy hop into the next week we're just giving you a bunch of little yeah little taste little yeah t- little taste here yeah because yeah. there's so much detail um in the story of the pale king that i i would feel like i would be doing it an injustice by trying to compact it into the next 20 minutes so yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll just wait for next week and there's gonna be a lot of good stuff to look forward to <clears throat> but at least you get to learn about like Team Cherry and like mm-hmm. a little bit of the basics about Hollow Knight. Like exactly. you're not going to go into this one blind. Nope. A little cheat sheet for next week's episode. Yeah. Then the exam. Yeah. And then I suppose the Lore Boys will be back after that <laughs> with your with your grades. Well, we're actually going to talk more about Soul and uh, one of the bosses that you fight that has a lot to do with Soul. Okay. So um, not much is known about this energy, like we said, except that it, it predates the history of Hollow Nest. Uh, one boss in the game is called the Soul Master, and he's within the Soul Sanctum. Okay. And that's above the City of Tears. Okay. So if that makes no sense to you, don't worry about it. Yeah, I was going to say, that's yeah. a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. fantasy bullshit there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I yeah. mean, if you're listening to this podcast, arguably, you know what video games is. Mm-hmm. So, like, you can you can probably glean from that. Yeah. yeah. It's in, like, the set, if you looked at the whole map, it's in, like, almost the center and then up to the right. Okay. Um, so the Soul Sanctum is a place above the City of Tears, and there was a guy named the Soul Master who was studying soul. Is he the monk who attacks you with the rings? Um, no. No, that's, uh, that's below near the Fungal Waste in Green Path. Okay, sure. But, um, the one that I'm talking about, he's very rotund. He's like, his character shape is very round. Yeah. Um, he has a bunch of lackeys that are smaller versions of himself. Cool. He kind of has like a robe that goes up probably like three quarters of the way up of the sphere of his body. And then a tiny head that pokes up that looks like he has his chin in the air. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he has kind of like a cape robe sort of on the back. Okay. And um, his whole thing is he studies soul a lot. Okay. And he was originally endorsed by the Pale King. Saying, um, we need to deal with this infection, this radiance, and we think soul might be the way to do it. Okay. So what we need you to do is to study soul and 
You basically have carte blanche. You can do whatever you want. Just study soul. Okay. To harvest soul... You have to kill things. Yes. Yeah. So if you go to his area, the backdrop is just like mounds of dead bodies like, okay yeah piled all the way up there's the walls. mountains of insect corpses yes as far as i can see yeah Ye- and he did many 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 experiments and some of them were successful in terms of like i can make a fireball now mr pale king could you sign this contract for me uh yeah. all this says is by any means necessary and then there's <laughs> a line where i can sign he's like yeah yeah that's it that's all i need <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> it's pretty much yeah. yeah. This big round rolly guy with his chin in the air comes yeah. up to the king. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> Can I, let me do anything, please. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid of the radiance. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I'll do it. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So he does this, and a lot of his um experiments were all, also failed. Are you one of them? Uh. No. Oh. We're not. We're not one. We have nothing to do with the uh, the soul. Uh, Maybe some of his research like led into creating vessels okay, that the yeah. pale the pale king did to like proof of concept proof of concept before then b- before you were created then. But hollow knights or knights, their essence is void. It's not soul. Okay, which is a complicated, and we're gonna get into more next week. But okay. I, I'm gonna talk more about void soon. Yeah. So void is like the dark essence, and it's it's what your base essence is because the only thing that can fight radiance is void when you die and you have to kill your shadow is that thing made of void yes oh okay yeah. when you go deep 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 into the into the ground you'll find other souls that are not yours that you can fight oh cool yeah yeah okay that are Neat. like completely dark and they look just very similar to yours yeah yeah um yeah so the soul master uh he continued studying soul and slaying thousands upon thousands of bugs and these bugs um, died for for yeah. Being, yeah, basically for nothing, because he would get like a bunch of souls and then try and do an experiment and it would fail and he'd be like, not enough souls. Yep, I guess I was it. Yeah, so let's do it again. And he'd go and kill, 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 kill. Yeah, drain all his souls. Oh, well, enough souls. That's it's it's failing because. I haven't killed enough. Not because yeah. the idea is bad. I was going to say, he hasn't tried to change anything else at any point. No. Just like, maybe stop keeping them all in this old plastic bin. <laughs> Keep them, in, like, I don't know, try and seal it up in something a instead. plastic bin with a stick in it. Yeah. Like, so they're happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two like, holes punched in the top. Yeah, in the, in the, in the tinfoil to keep it all in there yeah. so it can breathe. <laughs> like when you keep actual bugs as pets. Yeah, exactly. So that was his problem, was his, is he was just like, oh, well, I mean, like, I, I, I was figuring yeah. that, like, all these dead bugs were going to create some magic. Yeah. I just guess I need, like, more bugs. Yep. Yeah, okay. And, um... Didn't really work most of the time, and then eventually... Or he the- didn't notice that, like, the thing that he was dumping it all into had a crack in it, and it just kept draining out. He's just like, oh, I guess I just need to kill more people. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah honestly, he just kept fucking killing. And eventually the Pale King's like, all right, your experiments aren't working that I great. am running precious low on citizens to be a <laughs> yeah. king of at this point, exactly. and we haven't found a solution. Yep, and uh, Pale King says, hey, stop doing what you're doing. Now, we're not really cool with yeah. this anymore. Um, then... I'm gonna sell my stock. I'm... <laughs> yeah, I invested heavily in genocide, and at this point, I'm regressing, regretting it. At the... I'm just not into it anymore. Yep. Uh, gonna pull out my assets. Mm-hmm. I want to be a little bit more liquid here and there. <laughs> so just, I'm yeah. gonna make an assumption that he was just like, don't go crazy. Yeah, that's the thing. And he didn't go crazy while in the custody of the Pale King. But he went crazy shortly after. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. it's just like, hey man, I'm just gonna leave yeah pull my support yeah if that's cool don't lose your mind and become a villain or anything he's like i don't intend to (laughs) and yeah he he, in his dreams um was approached by what is known as the radiance or the infection and saying you could live forever if you killed enough uh now he thinks that if he just keeps killing he will never die all right. So he continues his experiments and just keeps killing, keeps killing, keeps killing. Yeah. And you only learn about his dreams um, once you actually hit him with the dream nail after yeah. you beat him the first time. And then you get some more lo- like context on who he is. I see. I haven't successfully beaten any boss for the second time with the dream nail. Have you tried? Um, no. But I, I've oh, beaten... Okay. Um, that would explain it. Warrior spirits. So there's like... 
if you walk by like a tomb or something, sometimes there'll just be like a spirit there. It'll be like floaty. And it'll be like, hey, do you want to challenge this thing by hitting with the dream nail? And I've beaten two of those. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Those are, that you just get your essence because essence is the thing we're talking about soon. I wanted to talk about soul void and essence. So that was soul. Um, this guy thinks he can live forever. One of his last words after you kill his variant is now I can live forever. So I don't know if he did enough research on soul that realized that there is an afterlife in Hollow Nest. It can be speculated that there's an afterlife because, you know, if you get killed and your soul gets killed, you still exist. Yeah. I mean, as a ho- as a knight, you do. Yeah. Because you can kill your shadow yeah. sort of thing. I-, I don't actually know what that thing is called. I always call it the shadow. Yeah. Is, is the little void ghost that can fly around and shit. Yeah, it's your, it's your spirit. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm probably not calling it the right thing either, but... Whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not like we report on lore or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm right, but here's the answer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah, these three guys did a lot. You know, like, what have us three done lately, really? I mean, we told people about their work. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I expect the check soon, T-shirt. I don't want them to be the tree falling in the woods, nobody's around to hear it yeah. sort of thing, right? Like, we're doing people a charity. <laughs> yep. No, they're good. I think they had... I saw on one of their blog posts, they had, like, 100,000 people playing the game and stuff, which is pretty good for I don't. I don't doubt it. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd, I'd imagine even more, but from what I've talked to, but most of our close people and friends are like video game fans so yeah. it's not exactly a great sample size no exactly <laughs> <laughs> all these people share my interests i can't get very like <laughs> yeah i can't get a great a diversity of opinion out of these That's people <laughs> yeah 10 out of the 10 the people that i've asked in my video game office know about this game yeah Everybody. you ever wonder how like how the fuck is it like nine out of ten doctors agree that brushing your teeth is good where's that other guy <laughs> what's up with that guy <laughs> yeah he's Right, he's the doctor that is part working for a private company, and he's yeah. waiting for your teeth to go bad. And he's so a he fucking quack, yeah. yeah. So he can just make you dentures. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So void is uh, not the opposite of soul. It would be the opposite of radiance. radiance. Yeah. Which is like radiance is light, void is dark. Yes. Um, the void is a substance of the abyss, which is a, a place you can go. Cool. In the game. And I haven't gotten to it yet. It's just you go deeper and deeper and deeper. It's probably spooky as fuck, though. Yeah. Yeah, and there's, like, um, one statue down there, and it looks kind of like... Uh, oh, I'm forgetting now. This is so many episodes ago. Uh, the Metroid had those bird people. The Chorzo? Uh, yeah, no, it's the Chozo. Chozo, yeah. The, the Chozo, Chozo or the Metroid, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the Chozo- bird guys. Yeah, exactly. There's, like... Um, a statue of like a Chozo kind of like kneeling and holding with its hands out and then there'll be like a power up on top of it. Yeah. Um, there was an allusion to that and if you go deep enough into the abyss there's uh, basically a bug doing that exact same pose. Oh cool. But it's holding um, a pool filled with void and it's kind of spilling over the sides. Like okay cool. And you kind of bathe in that then you can pass through um, void walls. It's just like your ice missiles so you can get through the ice door yeah or yeah, yeah yeah um but void is your aspect your player character the knight is void aspected okay cool the pale king basically when soul didn't work out tried out void okay yeah, yeah. and i've got these two different things to work with yeah i've got murder yeah and i've got the eternal the eternal blackness of death yes like, I like okay like i'm gonna figure this one out <laughs> his first contractor did not do a good job no so yeah, so uh, the void. Uh, it's an and so an ancient civilization that predates the kingdom of Hollowness. A lot like the ones who worship Soul. There was maybe the same ones worship Void as well, because we see there's all these statues and there's. Well, you'd want a balance. You'd want yin and yang. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but I guess radiance would be the yin and the yang would be void. Soul is okay. just the life force. Okay. So it's not yeah it's not a good or bad by nature. It's kind of like just energy. And then it's how you use it. It's like electricity is not good or bad by nature, but if you shock someone to death, it's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. That's so, fair. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this ancient civilization knows all this stuff. Uh, it's likely the same civilization responsible for the soul totems, the ones that have the soul. So we think, right. we think it's this old... It si- predates, like, but it predates anything that anybody 
alive or even in recent history could possibly have known. Exactly, okay. exactly. And there's this one dude that you can sell like artifacts to as you find them, and he'll drop little voice lines like, oh, the soul totems were from really long ago. I haven't figured out which civilization it was yet. Or yeah. like, it, we get a lot of lore from that guy because he's an old researcher. We uh, should have him on the show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tiny bug. Yeah. <laughs> like a little tiny microphone. In a jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's dark energies is usually seen as bad in games. Like I said before, void is not necessarily bad. Yeah, it's just not yeah, radiance. Exactly. Um, so essence. Now that's the the essence is tied to radiance. Okay. Yes. So it's the currency that looks like a dream catcher. It's it, you may not have encountered it, but basically one, yeah. once you get the dream nail, essence is another thing you can collect. Okay. And to get to the end of the game, you need a minimum of eighteen hundred of it. Okay. Um, you can get it by beating those dream bosses. Okay. They drop essence. Like if you re-beat uh, the false knight. Yeah. Uh, he will give you 200 essence. Okay. And you need 1,800. So you can get this. Just beat him six times and yeah. you're, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> you can choose your favorite bosses. So it doesn't really like say you have to beat all the bosses again. Yeah. Just choose the bosses that you Whoever like. Whoever you find the easiest, just grind him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think you can beat the same one over and over again. Oh. I think it's like you beat him once and then that's it. Mm. And you can get the next one. But there's uh, something like 2,800 to get the final achievement for getting all of them, like called the Enlightened One. You have to go back to the Seer and then... She said, you collected it all, but there's really like 3,200 in the game. So there's there's more than you need in the game. Okay, all right. Um, so the Dream Nail shows like the alternate voice lines. It also unlocks that stuff. So you can hit uh, something with the Dream Nail. It puts out the essence into the world. It's like a ghost sword, I guess, because if you hit somebody with it, you mm -hmm. don't actually harm them. You just no. read their mind. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Pretty much. And, uh, yeah, some of the bosses, like, you will get an alternate voice line, but they're moving so quickly, it's just really fucking hard to, to even read it. Yeah, to hit them or to read it or to, like, it, yeah, it's really hard. Um, yeah, so Essence, just basically dream currency, and that's it. So we have Void, we have Soul, that is your mana, is your life essence. Yeah. We have Void, which is your aspect, which is the darkness, which is the only thing that can fight the infection or radiance. And then we have essence, which is basically dream power. And you can't enter certain things, dreams, until you have enough essence to get into it. Where to where you'll encounter the radiance, because radiance or light attacks through dreams. Okay, cool. Holy fuck. Yes. Yeah, the radiance as well is, spoilers, the true final boss. Yes, the radiance, the, you eventually have to fight the Hollow Knight, which is the final boss. Yeah. And then if you have a certain ending, you'll fight the Hollow Knight's dreams, which is where he encases the radiance to save the world from it, basically. But the problem is it's leaking out from his thoughts. Yeah. It's, yeah. What a fucking crazy thing. is it? You yeah. kind of are the... You're not the villain. No. You are the... You are a failed experiment yeah. to stop an infection from hurting an otherwise peaceful bug colony. Right. And, like, the infection itself is not necessarily evil either there's no true it, villain at all it might be free speech or free thought yeah okay because you can there's this um sign as you're coming into the city saying uh those of great like with great minds do not pass this area and it, it implies that that the small creatures that do not have a mind mm -hmm. will gain a mind by entering this area because they enter the hive mind okay and you don't want that you, you don't, don't want you that. don't want people thinking too much that's that's no. danger danger to the pale king exactly oh, okay. exactly but okay it, everything was fine like it wasn't a bad it wasn't like a dictator making all these fucked up things it was just like oh it's a civilization that's just running smoothly yeah and then radiance came in and being able to think for yourself brought what, in the discord this is like yeah this is what i'm putting on to it yeah it's not really saying like thinking for yourself but they also get very aggressive whenever the radiance yeah uh, kind of comes in so i don't know if they're trying to fight the hive mind or if they're just confused or what's going on but yeah gotta kill them though yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> anyways that, that was there's a lot there i hope you guys were able to like follow um there's a lot of like intricacies, but the biggest thing is that you want to know for next time is the void is the dark energy, which is you. The radiance is the bad thing to our kingdom, which is light. Yeah. And soul is the mana that both sides can use to fight with. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's other, other things, mm -hmm. life force basically. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I, I was going to say like, we'll definitely refer to this episode to go back to 
in the next one, yeah. just in case, because you're probably going to launch off pretty strong with like, no. hey, you guys uh, you guys did the reading at home, so here's yeah. the test <laughs> sort of thing. I'll definitely do a speed round. I don't think uh, I'll make anyone have to listen to both if they don't want to, but this one... I, I Nobody think wants an assignment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I can get through it pretty quickly, but if you want the intricacies, then it's here. Do you have any more questions about the world or anything that you're... No, 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 no. Like, uh, the, the, there's the three kind of elements that build everything out. Yeah. And that's... I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to be set up. Because, like yeah. I said, I'm not... I've not far enough in that game. I beat, like, three, yeah. maybe four bosses. Yeah. And it's there. It haunts me. It haunts mm. my dreams that I need to finish Hollow Knight one day, yeah. apparently. <laughs> Uh, except I need to play more Absolver, which sucks. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, don't play Absolver is, okay. is my review of that. Uh, you were uh, so excited about it. Yeah, because it looks right. cool. Uh, it's not good at all. This is how you felt about Hollow Knight. Maybe in six months' time we'll be doing an Absolver episode and you'll get back to yeah, it. Yeah, there's nothing really truly redeeming about Absolver. <laughs> okay. like, n- nothing nothing makes me want to play that again. Okay. Um yeah, so that's it. But yeah, cool. the, the, it's very cool. I, I like the context because it, it's mm. something I probably would have missed and would have had to have watched a bunch of YouTube videos for. Yeah, to understand. I've been watching a ton of them, and like you can watch an hour long Hollow Knight video, and then it still goes on. Like you yeah. haven't covered everything, so I know this one, especially without Ethan, there was a lot of me just like delivering information, and I hope it wasn't too dry for you guys. But like, I really had a lot of fun researching it, and I think the game's beautiful. If you haven't picked it up, like, pick it up. Like, yeah. it's amazing. It's it's such a good game. Support Team Cherry. Like, they're good guys. If they make DLC, they give it to you for free. Yeah, it's all free. Yeah. Uh, Silk Song is coming out soon. Uh, or it's being developed. Uh, there's a trailer out there. Go check it out. There's, like, 150 new enemies, whole new areas, uh, new playable characters. She looks like a lot more fun to play, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's like, a grapple mechanic or something. Yeah, she which, does, yeah. yeah she, she looks like a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, she has, like, a needle and thread instead of a nail. So yeah. she does, like, this tangly needle move or a thread move, and then yeah. she has, like, throw her needle and, like, dash to it, like a hook shot kind of thing. It's and, fucking sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's all amazing. The game is beautiful. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so, Peter, if I wanted to find you on El Interneto. On, on Los Internet? Yeah. Los Internete? Yeah. Uh, you can find me at Pete O'Donohue. Um, I am the cartoonist, despite the fact there hasn't been an update in a couple of weeks. I am working on getting a tablet um, and whatnot. Other things just came up, so, you know, just slowed down a bit. Yeah. Uh, that's on uh, loreboys.com, theloreboys.com, and pornhubcaps.com. They all <laughs> redirect to the same place. Uh, you can find our artwork there for every episode. We have a unique one, and we'll have a unique one for every episode that we've recorded thus far. The mm-hmm. ones that are missing, I will redo them all. Cool. Once I have a better way of doing it. Um, and then, yeah, at Pete O'Donoghue on Twitter. And then on DeviantArt, if you want to download full-sized images, 1080p, uh, it's O'Manahue on DeviantArt. And Jambo. That's a lot of P. Yeah. 1080. Uh, my name's That's James. a lot of P. <laughs> you can find me. I'm at... a lot of P. <laughs> you can find me where there's a lot of P. Oh, yeah. And... Anywhere there's a lot of P. <laughs> uh, J-Y-M-I-L-L-K-64 on PSN if you want to play some Apex with me. Uh, if you want to watch me play some Hollow Knight, uh, I've been doing that a couple streams yesterday. Um, Twitch.tv slash The Lore Boys. I haven't been super consistent with um, with the stream, but I th- just this week I uh, had the idea of if I'm going to play or uh, deliver uh, lore on a game, I think it would be fun that a couple days before the game uh, or the lore is recorded i'll play the game that's a fantastic idea yeah i'll tell you guys hey this is like the pre-episode research come check it out so one you'll get a jump start on what we're talking about two you'll get to see me fall on spike traps a million times (laughs) i think a lot of the stuff that's been going on recently like we still put out put out the show every week but like everything else has been just so fucking chaotic Mm -hmm. that um like please forgive us temporarily while we rebalance everything we we need a couple of things to fall into place right now because like everything is kind of fucking crazy like we haven't been a trio in two weeks at this no, point no that's so. it ethan's super yeah. busy you got flown out to poland last minute yeah. like peter's dealing with his own stuff right yeah so it's yeah which is all over and thankfully at least as far as i can tell that yeah like okay. we still get the show out everything else all the uh the, the uh what is it the um uh extracurricular bullshit yeah, we're yeah. we're trying to get back onto. but some extracurricular stuff that we have been doing and for those of you who 
support lower boys prime is what we call Low it boys prime lower boys premium there's yeah. two different systems it's okay generally the same sacrifice okay good. um and this time because we like to keep it on brand yep i mean did you have one that you wanted to well i i had one but please i'd love to hear you oh it's, it's just because i had a coupon book to give out but okay. no if you want go for it <laughs> uh, well i was gonna say that i've been doing my own soul experiments at home um so i i live in a basement apartment there's an abundance of bugs yeah. So what I've been doing is I've been collecting them and one by one putting them real close to my eye and squishing them and watching the soul come out. Yeah. And then capturing that in a tiny little bag. And then I've been putting that into bigger bags. So I have – and then those are in a bigger bag. So I have lots of little bug souls. If you thought Jolly Ranchers were overpackaged, <laughs> you ain't <laughs> fucking seen nothing yet. <laughs> you got, There's a lot of bug souls. And the best way to replenish your soul is to huff them. Yeah. So if you want to huff some bug guts and get strong like the Lore Boys, subscribe to Lore Boys Premium. Lore Boys Premium or Lore Boys Prime. It's the same. It's the same system as far as I can. As far as I can tell. Yeah. 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 Well, if for Lore Boys Prime, you have to have Amazon Prime and then you oh, can yeah. move it over, kind of thing. Yeah. It's not worth it in Quebec. No. You know, in Quebec, actually, here's a little uh, trivia. Here's uh-huh. some real life lore, which generally people call history. Okay. Or fact. Yeah. Um. In Quebec, you don't get a free month. Uh, well, you don't get a free trial of Amazon Prime. You get 13 months for the price of 12. Huh. But you still have to pay up front and pay for the whole fucking thing. Oh, that sucks. Yep. Dang. Sure does. Frickin' Quebec. Frickin' all of, Quebec. <laughs> all of our, our like, uh, countrywide, like, sweepstakes, too. Like, you can win an Xbox One if you eat a Harvey's Whopper. And then, yeah. you, except for Quebec. Quebec's like yeah. our Alaska. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a shit state. <laughs> Separate, but equal. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> anyway. And that constitutes... A lore boys. Lore boys. Salut. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Tabernacle.